Hi guys, this is Erica from Gokche Capital. Now before I begin, be sure to click subscribe and turn on the notification bell. On August 26, 2001, Hurricane Ida hit New Orleans. The storm knocked out the city's power for days, but one building's lights kept shining through the crisis. We'll learn more about how an affordable housing project became a model for resilient construction at the end of this video. But first, if you are thinking of installing solar panels yourself, you may be wondering, will they work on cloudy days? And in today's video, we have the top things you should know. Number one, most people think solar panels work best when there is direct sunlight, and they're correct. However, photovoltaic solar panels can also use indirect sunlight, such as the kind occurring on cloudy days, to generate electrical power. In addition, you can supplement the electricity produced by the panels with power stored in your batteries if you have a battery system along with your panels. Number two, how is solar energy stored for cloudy days? The good news is that you can store energy during peak sunlight hours to use on cloudy days. There are two ways to do this, with solar batteries, which you install in your residential home to allow you to collect energy during peak hours for use during suboptimal conditions. The other option is a net metering program. A net metering program will enable you to transmit any excess power your system produces into your municipal electric grid. This allows you to receive credits from your utility company, which can be cashed in to offset electrical costs that occur during overcast days. Number three, when do solar panels perform best? As you may imagine, solar panels will perform best when the sun is shining fully. This is typically between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. on sunny days and during the months of April through October. Another thing to keep in mind is that the way you install and maintain your panels will have a big impact on how well they perform, regardless of how much sun is shining. Number four, how does your panel installation affect solar production? As we just mentioned, if you want to maximize output on any day, you want to install your panels correctly. You also want to pay careful attention to their orientation. Because the U.S. is in the northern hemisphere, this means that panels should be south-facing. They may also be angled slightly east or west to increase coverage and optimal generation throughout the day. Furthermore, some installers will maintain a pitch of at least 10 degrees so panels can self-clean. And finally, if the panels are not installed correctly, this can impede their performance, which is why it is important to hire a reputable installer. Number five, how does maintenance affect solar production? When panels are degraded, they do not perform as well and thus will provide even less power during cloudy days. To keep your panels performing optimally, you should conduct regular inspections to pinpoint potential issues like loose racking, exposed wires, and other areas of concern before they become a bigger problem. This also means inspecting all attendant equipment, like inverters, roof racks, or batteries. Inverters should be replaced every 10 to 15 years, and panels every 25 to 30 years if you want your system to keep performing. And finally, number six, one of the best ways to ensure that your system works during cloudy days is to maximize solar use in your home. Here are some tips. Switch to energy efficient lights fittings, and appliances. Use appliances with timers to ensure that they turn off during non-peak hours. Manage heating and cooling by upgrading your building's insulation and closing any thermal breaks. And charge your devices during the day or when the sun is out to reduce your electrical needs during non-optimal conditions. But now that we've covered the question of whether solar panels work on cloudy days, Let's return to the St. Peter Apartments. On August 26, 2021, Hurricane Ida slammed into New Orleans. Just weeks before the gale hit, Intergy, the state's biggest utility, told Wall Street that it had upgraded the city's electrical infrastructure to withstand a major storm. 
That statement soon rang hollow, for within minutes of landfall, Ida began to wreak havoc on the electrical grid, downing power lines, towers, and poles. The towers that supplied electricity to the city toppled, and then the natural gas plant that was supposed to provide emergency power failed. In the mid-city neighborhood of New Orleans, everything went black, yet one building shone in the darkness. For the St. Peter, a brand new 50-unit affordable housing complex had been built for just such a scenario. The St. Peter was revolutionary in many ways, designed with its own microgrid of over 400 solar panels and battery storage. It is a net-zero building, meaning residents should have no energy bills if they follow energy use tips in their apartments. Yet just over a year after its opening, the St. Peter's promise of stability was tested when Hurricane Ida hit. Would the building's microgrid function when cut off from the larger electrical network? The answer was yes. While the rest of the city remained dark, the St. Peter was able to supply eight hours of electricity to its residents. Yes, solar panels are not perfect. On cloudy days, they do not function at their optimum level. And even in the St. Peter, demand outstrips supply in certain conditions. But this does not mean you should forgo your solar panel project. After all, as the St. Peter example shows, even if your off-grid panels cannot supply all of your electricity needs, they do make you more resilient. And this can mean the difference between light and darkness during the next storm. But what do you think? Do you have any stories about microgrids or solar panels? Let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? You're going to love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. We'll make you a land due diligence expert in just seven days. Check it out at gokchecapital.com glad. And while you're at our website, don't forget to explore our $1 down listings at gokchecapital.com listings. Finally, don't hesitate to reach out. You can email, call, or text, and we will respond as soon as possible. So thank you for listening and more to come.